today's video is going to be my 2013 favorites. Uh, I don't have many because I kind of forgot to jot things down as the year went by so I could film this at the end of the year. So I pretty much was looking at my skincare, makeup, just looking, you know, uh, at my storage and just thinking of things that I do wear very regularly and that I love. Um, and I just came up with a good uh, list to tell you guys. So it's not going to be too long and I'm pretty sure if you watch my videos, most of these products won't come as a surprise to you. But anyway, I figured I would just show you and just give you a refresher. Um, and just in case you haven't seen these in my videos or you're new to my channel, um, you know what my 2013 favorites were. So let's go ahead and get started. I just added everything to a bag, a shopping bag, just to make it easier. So, okay, so first I'm going to start off with um, my Baptiste dry shampoo. And again, I don't think this is a surprise for you guys. I just love this. It works great as a dry shampoo, but it also works great um, as a concealer to your roots. So I haven't tried the other colors. I think they have the brown one. I haven't tried that one because obviously my hair is highlighted and it's blonde. So I can't speak for that one. However, I did hear people with brown hair loving that one as well. So, but at least for the uh, light and blonde color, I do love it. I feel like it helps a lot. Like right now, I'm extremely due for highlights and for color. Um, and I feel like this is great and I apply this. I just washed my hair today and obviously my roots weren't dirty. And I still applied it because it just gives me extra like volume and texture and it conceals the roots. So I feel like this is super affordable, very easy to get uh, online at Ulta. Um, so I feel like this is great and it was definitely a 2013 favorite. So my next favorite is the Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture perfume. And no matter how many perfumes I smell, fragrances, uh, body sprays, I every time I go back and I smell this, either in a store or I smell it at home because obviously I have it. I just love it. It's, I don't know, there's something super special about it. It's very feminine, um, yet it's not like that annoying floral scent. Um, it's mature as well, but not too mature. I just feel like it's a perfect scent. It works winter, summer, all year round. Um, now, you know, I know this is not as relevant, but I love the packaging. I think it's super cute too. Now, it is kind of pricey, but any good fragrance that you get uh, by a designer is going to fall under this price. So I feel like this one was $90, but it has lasted me for such a long time. And if you want to look for deals, sometimes TJ Maxx will have smaller versions for like $20 or $20. $4.99 uh, and they're smaller but it, it sometimes it's worth it if you don't want to invest the big uh, for the big size um, because you are putting a lot of money up front when you get it. So next up I have the Purity Made Simple by Philosophy and it's the cleanser. I just love this. I've been using this for a very long time. I definitely started using this way before 2013 but it's something that stuck with me. It's been my cleanser for the entire year. Uh, my skin is dry and it's kind of sensitive and this just cleans my skin very well. It makes my skin feel super clean but not it doesn't dry it out. It has kind of that milk consistency um, so it's very hydrating and I like the smell. I like the scent as well. just has that very clean um, feminine scent. Uh, it doesn't aggravate my skin, it cleans it very well, and I feel like my skin looks really good after I cleanse my skin with this. Oh, so Speaking of cleanser, now I'm just going to be showing you my Clarisonic. I've had my Clarisonic, I think, since, I don't know, for a couple of years. And it is a 2013 favorite because it's something that I use every single day. And yeah, so it is my favorite. It's going to be my favorite again next year, I'm sure, because I've never found anything else to clean my skin as well. Um, at the time I bought it, this was very recent, so it was kind of a big investment. I think at the time I got it, 
I got the Clarisonic Plus and I got the kits. It was like $270. So it was a lot to pay for up front and a lot of like, it was a big risk to take. Honestly, it has been worth it. I Every time I go back and clean my face with my just hands, uh, I feel like it's dirty after. And I almost compare this to the feeling where if any of you have switched from regular toothbrushes to the electrical ones, I compare it to that because after you try an electrical toothbrush and then if you stop using it for a while and go back to regular ones, I feel like your teeth don't feel like it's, they're clean at all. And that's the kind of feeling I get with this. If for some reason I don't have my Clarisonic with me and I use, I could use my Purity cleanser um, anyway and just use my hands, I definitely don't feel like my skin is as clean and I feel like it's dirty. And I, you know, as you guys know, I take my makeup before I use this. This is just the cleansing step. And I use, uh, I believe this is the sensitive brush. But I feel like it's worth it. Now the one thing that I want to start doing for the year 2014 is using the body brush because I do have it and I feel like that would be great, you know, and that's one of the reasons why I got the Clarisonic Plus was for me to be able to use it but I just get lazy and I just exfoliate with exfoliators and I never, I never think of taking this with me uh, into the shower. But I use this once a day at night and I feel like it has made a huge difference in my skin. So another discovery for me for 2013 was actually using argan oil. Up until now, I have never thought of putting oil as a moisturizer on my skin. Um, it just never occurred to me. Um, after hearing so much about argan oil and about you know so many people raving about the Josie Marine one, um, that one's definitely, I think it's 50 or $60. Um, I've never tried that one, I just, I kind of feel like if the only ingredient is argan oil, I don't think that the brand is really going to change the quality of argan oil unless they're adding, you know, fragrances which make it smell a little bit nicer. Um, I don't know. But then I really don't want anything to be added onto my argan oil. I want to use pure one. Um, so the one I've tried, and this is the one I've been using, is by Glow Naturals, and this is by Vitacost. That's their brand for skincare. And I think it works perfectly. This is, I think this was like $12. I use this as my night moisturizer after I apply my serum. And I do feel like it does wonders for my skin. It just, my skin just soaks it up and it feels really good. Um, so my next favorite is the Angelou Naturals Fruit Stem Cell Science Clementine Plus C Illuminating Toner. And um, up until now, all the other toners that I was using were the ones that you just add to the pad, like a cotton pad, and just dab it onto your face. This is the first time that I've ever tried a spray toner, and I just love it. It's by their Brightening Line, and it's for normal and combination skin, which mine is more normal to dry, but I do have um, sun damage and freckles that annoy me, so I wanted something to be brightening. Um, so I figured I'm just going to get a toner from their brightening line and this is amazing. It has a ton of vitamin C. It smells like oranges. It's very fresh and I like the way the spray is on because I tried a couple spray products for your face where every time you spray it, it just a lot of product goes to specific areas and then it looks ridiculous and it's, it's not even. So this gives out a very even spray onto your face. And I actually think this is great for the summer. I know now we're in the winter, but as the summer comes, I think this is something that's good to carry with you in your purse because if you start getting, you know, sweaty or you need, you know, your makeup to stay fresh, I feel like this is a great alternative. Um, I spray it on after I was done doing my makeup and it doesn't damage my makeup or anything. I can actually spray it on right now. I mean, it just feels so nice. It just I feel like you're giving your skin a glass of water. That's pretty much what it is. Your skin feels fresh, awake, um, and it doesn't damage my makeup or anything because it's a very light and even spritz of toner. So my next favorite is going to be a hair mask, and this one is very old. As you can see, it like it needs to be thrown out pretty much but I still have a tiny little bit in there. I don't know if you can tell, so I don't want to throw it out. 
I honestly feel like for the price, and this is the L'Oreal um, Ever Strong Sulfate Free Deep Replenishing Mask, and they have different lines. Uh, I tend to like this one, the green bottle one. Um, I just feel like it's amazing. And now I haven't been using this one as much since my hair is short. Again, I feel like I don't need as much treatment. But when my hair was long, you know how if you have long hair, you know that the bottom part, it just gets damaged and dry from styling and because it's just old hair. You know, the longer you have your hair, the older your hair is. Honestly, if you're not into just paying for the Moroccan oil mask and all those more expensive alternatives, this one's super affordable. I can't remember how much it is, but it's sulfate free, so you know, which is a great characteristic. And I kid you not, after I apply this, my hair just feels like silk. I would sometimes sleep with this on my hair and just rinse it in the morning and wash my hair. Uh, sometimes if, if I felt like my hair was really, really dry, I would just add a drop and like rub it into my fingers and just leave it at the ends. But typically I would use this as an overnight treatment or in the shower and like let it sit for like 10 minutes. But I feel like it's a great alternative to all those expensive treatments and it's sulfate free and it's super affordable. Um, you can get it at the drugstore and I feel like um, it doesn't get enough credit. So. so surprise, surprise, which may not be a surprise, but my Naked 2 palette had to be part of my 2013 favorites because I just feel like this is the perfect palette. Uh, if you invest and I think now it costs $52. But, I mean, it just has amazing colors. You can definitely, you don't need anything else if you have this. It just has amazing colors. They're neutral, great for every day. But then you also have the darker ones to, you know, step it up for, a, you know, a nighttime event. Um, do a smoky eye uh, because you do have black and a dark brown. I just feel like it's a great palette. And if you have this, you really don't need any single shadows or anything else. So it's definitely worth the money and this honestly had to be part of my 2013 favorites because I've honestly used this every single day of 2013. I Ever since I bought this, I don't even feel like using any single shadows. Uh, sometimes I even think about giving them away because I'm not using them. But I take this everywhere I go. Um, so my favorite foundation for the year 2013 definitely has to be the Revlon Color Stay, and my shade is 180 Sand Beige. I feel like this foundation does such a great job, and it's definitely at a quality level of just higher end foundations, and you can get this pretty much everywhere at any drugstore, online, on Amazon. Uh, it's very accessible to everyone. Um, even like all over the world. Um, it does such a great job. It has like medium coverage but you can definitely build it up but I just feel like my skin looks so even and I'm wearing it today because not I don't wear foundation every day. I typically try to stay with the BB cream and CC cream but because I was going to talk about this I make sure to wear it for this video just so you guys could see. But yeah, it just makes my skin so even, but I don't feel like my skin is cakey or anything. Um, so I really love it. Definitely a 2013 favorite, and if you're looking for a good foundation, but you you don't want to pay like 20, 30, 40 dollars for a foundation, I definitely recommend the Revlon Color Stay. So this favorite is actually something that I discovered almost at the end of December. But I don't know if you guys remember, but I when one of my videos, I think it was my December Glossy Box video. I was kind of complaining because some people got the moisturizer, the hand cream, and I got uh, an eyeliner, and my hands were so, so dry at that point. So it was kind of a bummer, but one of my friends that also watches my videos here on YouTube recommended that I get the Neutrogena hand cream. I got the original. This is super cheap. I got it for $2.97 at Walmart, so I got two of them. And What's funny is that this is gl glycerine based, which is why it's so similar to one of my favorite hand creams of all time, which is by Co Bigelow, the one that you get at Bath & Body Works. It's so similar, it does a great job. Uh, you can also get the fragrance free one, but this fragrance doesn't bother me, it's very subtle and it smells like clean. I, I just like it. Um, it does. You know, I, I'm gonna try to show you, but it come, it's like glycerine based, so 
It doesn't look like Vaseline, but if you're familiar with glycerine-based products, um, you'll know the consistency. It goes on very nicely and it's absorbed into your skin very quickly. I feel like Neutrogena has such amazing quality and we just don't give it enough credit because it's a drugstore brand, but this does exactly the same thing as my Co Bigelow one and I feel like I have other hand creams that are that have shea butter but they also have a lot of fragrance and alcohol and while they have ingredients that are super good and hydrating then the alcohol and other perfume are pretty much counteracting with that and it defeats the purpose so I think this is great so if you're looking for a great hand cream that's super affordable uh, I definitely recommend a Neutrogena Okay, so we're almost done. I have two products left, but I definitely have to include this top coat by Seche Viet. Uh, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'll, you know, just insert close-ups as I always do so you guys know which one I'm talking about. But it's a dry, fast top coat, and this has really changed my manicure. Um, I'm still on the hunt of a base coat that's just as good as this top coat uh, because that's what I feel like it's missing. And please ignore my manicure because I really need to do my nails, but um, I just didn't have time. So this top coat is kind of pricey. I think it's like $10 if you get it at Ulta. But some of you have alerted me to the fact that Amazon sells it for like four bucks. So that's a tip for you guys. But this is great. Every time I'm done with my regular nail polish and I top this off, it just gives it that very glossy, almost like gel nails kind of look and it makes my manicure dry so fast within 10 minutes it's dry whereas with other top coats I have to wait an hour and almost always you know after that I still like damage my nails no matter how like I'll get like a dent or something and with this they stay like within 15 minutes they're like hard and very shiny and it gives it that gel glossy look that I really like and um, it definitely makes my manicure last a lot longer. And lastly, I'm going to show you my 2013 favorite mascara. And it has to be the The Real by Benefit. Every time I use this, and I'm not using it today, but every time I am wearing this on my lashes, you guys always compliment how great my mascara looks. And it's because this The Real by Benefit is amazing. I definitely think it gives you that great look. The only reason why I don't wear this for work and I choose to wear my um, CoverGirl or you know just other mascaras is because this is so it works so well that I almost feel like my eyes look too dramatic for my you know daily work. But for the weekend or a night dinner party, if I want that more dramatic eye look, um, I definitely this is the one I go to right away. It does a great job. Mine is actually. It's like the small size and the letters are kind of disappearing, but I don't know if this came in a sample or I don't know, or a bundle or something like that, but uh, it's been lasting me because I save it for special occasions where I really want my eyes to pop um, and it does a great job and you know, it really stands up to the name. So this was my 2013 mascara and after I run out, I'm definitely going to purchase another one. Okay guys, so those are my 2013 favorites. I know some of these won't come as a surprise to you if you've been following me for a while because I do include them in my videos and my empties and I talk about them, but I just wanted to do a combined, you know, kind of review and just show you what my 2013 favorites were. Not to say that there weren't any other products that really that I really liked for 2013, but these are the ones that I felt like deserve the attention for this video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. It really means a lot to me and I upload every Wednesday and Friday, sometimes more, so subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you and I will be talking to you very soon. Bye guys.